all hey it's your girl so I'm a little bit special you know I've, I've got the dyspraxias and the autisms a little bit you know the Asperger's and guess what it's my one year driving anniversary what? Oh, 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 I know, I know. So this is kind of a big deal, just a little bit of a big deal, a huge deal. The biggest deal of all the dealy dealios. So as of the 5th of October 2017, it has been my one year driving anniversary. It has been the biggest deal of my life ever. And I mean ever. Which you might be thinking is really strange because obviously I have achieved so many things in my life and you're thinking, but why, why, is, why is driving like the big thing? It's no big deal. Let me stop you there. For me and anyone who has the same kind of conditions as me knows how much of a big deal this is. It's huge. So when I found out I was dyspraxic, I was like, ah, maybe this is why the whole idea of me not wanting to drive kind of kicks in, which it is because I have no kind of spatial awareness. If I'm the passenger in a car and we're going past a lorry or a lo lorry like overtakes us or something's coming towards us, I freak out because I'm like, it's definitely gonna hit us. There is no way that this massive gigantic lorry, which is probably seven tons, is not going to hit us. We're going to die. And I'm not even behind the wheel. I'm, I'm just sat next to the person who's behind the wheel who's just reacting totally fine completely fine. That this is not okay. And obviously growing up I, I didn't know I had any of these conditions which it's just what. So I at the age of how old am I now? I'm 24. So at the age of 23 slash 22 I decided okay enough's enough I need to learn how to drive or at least hope that I can learn how to drive because obviously if I'm having issues with things coming towards me and I think they're going to hit me that would then make me not legal to drive. I would be a hazard to myself and most definitely everyone else around me. So I started doing these driving lessons, they were really scary, it took one or two driving instructors to find the right one and when I did he was amazing, he was so good. He was like dad jokes central which was great. He never made me feel nervous, he always praised me every time like constantly throughout, throughout the whole the whole of our lessons. Uh, he would always be praising me on things that I did, which was fantastic. You need that. You, you don't need someone who's telling you off all the time because that, that doesn't help. It doesn't help anyone. But yeah, you know, it was scary. I was worried that I would end up having to drive an automatic as opposed to a manual. But in the end, I passed first time in a manual with only three minors. And for me, that is incredibly lucky. And I know that, you know, not many people achieve that with the same disorders that we have but the thing that really helped me is I would visualize when I'm at home you know doing the movements that you need to do and that was so important for me I highly recommend that to anyone who's learned to drive whether you have any kind of coordinational disabilities or, or like freaking out or autism this whatever like it's so good to have like you, you just have to do it because your nerves will get the better of you and that's the main reason why so many people fail multiple times in a row is simply because they're nervous you know how to drive you've been doing it for the last year or so possibly a little bit less but you know how to drive you know you do it's just when it comes to proving that you know you get nervous and you worry that you're going to forget how to do something but just just keep practicing when you're not even in a car that may sound insane and it could just be me being insane it might be completely unreasonable of a thing to do but it helped me and it got me where I am today, my one year anniversary. I just had to check to make sure that my jump is not inside out, uh, back to front even. It's fine. As long as I don't get in my car back to front. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I can't get the keys in, I'm facing the boot. That's why. <laughs> There's not a single day that I get in my car that I don't think about the fact of, wow, I'm, I'm driving. Like, that's no exaggeration. I know some people are like, every single day I think about this, blah, 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 and actually they don't. But I do. And it's, it's a huge thing for me. Like I said, this is the biggest achievement for me where I've been told I probably won't be allowed to drive. I struggled so much just as a passenger. And to, to do that, I've never felt anything like I did after I passed my exam. I've never, ever before felt that complete contentment that I did. 
I remember uh, me and my boyfriend, we went for a meal out and I'm just sat there, just kind of so relaxed. And there was so much relief, because as you can imagine, I was, you know, I was getting really stressed running up to it. And it was just the most perfect feeling. And every time I get in that car, I remember that I felt that and I felt that because of what I'm doing at that moment. I'm getting in the car and I'm driving myself. And it was because of that I had the chance to feel that. And I'm someone who deals with stress all the time. I'm constantly stressed. So to have that feeling for the first time ever is something I will never forget. So if you're thinking to yourselves, I'm never going to be able to drive. I'm never going to achieve something. I'm never going to be able to have that feeling of relief of achieving something, it can happen. It might not be driving, driving might not be okay for you, and that's totally okay, not everyone can, you know? There could be something else that you achieve in your life that gives you that wonderful feeling. I had it, I never thought I could have it, but I do, and it's great. So, my one year driving anniversary, yeah. So munchkins, I say goodbye now in the same way that I do every single time I end a video. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye. Um.